Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines, folks. T-Bone here. Got this little Cub Cadet came in. What I'm going to tell you on this machine is this diagnosis will apply to almost every mower out there. Let me show you what it's doing. Now I have the parking brake set. It has a 2021 battery in it. So... I'm going to show you exactly what it's doing. See if you can hear this. Hear it click every time I do this. That tells me a couple things. Well, at least one. Generally, if the battery is dead, it'll go or nothing will happen. I can't do that. Anyway, single click tells me we've either got an issue with... Uh, a starter solenoid or a starter. So how do you find out if your starter is bad or if your solenoid is bad? Well, I'm going to show you. The customer said about, I guess last year, someone, another shop in town put a new starter on here. So let's find out if we have a starter issue or not. Could be they just put one on and it went bad. Who knows? Stand by. So we've got our old trusty test light. Let's see, does it work? Why, yes, it does. We're grounded to the battery. Take our test light. We're going to hook it on right here. Well, I can't turn the key and hold this at the same time. Okay, so we'll hold our test light to this terminal on the starter. I'm going to turn the key. I see I got good headlights going. Nothing. Oop, you're my hands in the way. Nothing. So, let's go check the solenoid. Well, of course these geniuses, like quite a few mowers, look where they put the solenoid. It's under the back. Isn't that fun? And guess what? That's the threaded part of the doggone bolts here, so you got to put your socket in up here to get the doggone thing loose. So what we're going to do, I'm going to remove this battery, and then we'll be able to get in here and test this. I see it happen a lot with people with batteries. They'll want to take their positive off first. That is wrong. Because your wrench can come down here and short. Your wrench can go up and hit the seat and short out. Sparks fly, blah, blah. Take your negative terminal off first. When you put a battery back in, you hook up the positive first and your negative last. Okay, so I'm going to take you inside the battery compartment and there is our solenoid. This is called a four-post solenoid two small wires your big wire from the battery your other one from the starter i will show you how this works these two little wires one is your start wire and another one is the ground it doesn't matter which way you hook them up doesn't matter which way you hook the big ones up and i'll show you why and how this thing works i'm gonna try and show you all right there's one bolt and there's another one on the other side. I think those are three eighths. They're either gonna be three eighths or 10 millimeter, but remember these wires. See, you've got these couple of ground wires. Generally green is ground on lawnmower and then black is your main one to the battery. Remember, cause these have to be hooked back up when we put this back together. I'm gonna pull this solenoid out and I can't hold the camera and do this unless I'm a miracle worker cause there's just not enough room in there to do it. Before I pull this off, see, these two terminals, that is your two small wires. One of these is going to be hot when you turn the key on. The other one will be ground, and I'm going to show you how to test that. We've just unplugged them, and I have hooked up my jumper box to these terminals. We can see we have power. Now, we're going to see if we can film this from the back side, and I'll show you. First, we're going to check for power. Okay, so I've got the test light, if you can see down here. I've got the test light on this one wire. I'm going to turn the key. We are getting power down here every time I turn that key. All right, key back off. Now, let's go to the other terminal, and I'll show you. 
what we're going to do, we're going to take our test light, clamp that part to the positive. Now, you, anywhere you touch ground, it's going to light. See? Right to the frame is lit up. All right, so the other wire should be grounded. Let's see if it lights up. Yes, we have a ground. If we did not have a ground, we've got uh, maybe a safety switch or something going on. This is why you're testing this with the brake pedal locked in the parking brake position. So now I'll pull this solenoid out and I'll show you exactly the difference between a three post and a four post. You guys stand by. Well, I've got it out of the machine. <laughs> this thing got so hot, the lock nuts, it melted the nylock out of the nuts. Look right here how hot this thing got. It melted it. Now, let me show you how this works. I may take the time and drill this, take it apart, and let you see what's actually on the inside. Don't let these overwhelm you, folks. It's just a switch. That's all it is, is a switch. I'll show you how to test one. So I just drilled the rivets out, pulled this apart. I broke the two wires that went to the small terminals. We're going to pull this out. And there's a little spring in there. And I want you to see, see how burnt this looks. And let's see if we can get a shot down inside. See how that terminal is all messed up there. Oops, I just dropped the spring. Doesn't matter. But anyhow, that bad connection, which tells me somebody probably was holding the key on. So let's get on to showing you exactly how to test and what the difference is in a three post and a four post. So I hope I don't butcher this explanation too bad. I'm gonna do the best I can for you. I've got my test light hooked up to ground. We have battery, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna hook ground off of our jumper box. I'm on this four post. One of these terminals needs to be grounded. Does not matter which one, pick one. It's grounded. One of these has to come from the battery. It does not matter which one. You can either, one of them will go to the battery, the other one will go to the starter. So let's make one of those hot. I'm gonna choose over here so I'm a little further away from shorting that out. Now I'm gonna take a jumper wire and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hook my jumper wire up to positive on my battery. In this case, I'm using a jumper box. Now what we're looking for, this is from your battery. That means the ground means all your safety switches are working. This is gonna be act as my key switch because it's coming from the positive. We have no power here. I hope you guys can see this. Now I'm gonna touch this other small terminal. See it? It's just a switch folks. That's all it is to it. Every time I hit that key, we're sending power to the starter. Okay, now let's switch over and do a, let's see if I can not short anything out. Let's switch over and talk about a three post. This one you ground here. The three post grounds from the actual mount. So we'll ground there, we'll hook positive on this terminal and it doesn't matter same situation and then we're going to hold our test light on here i hope you folks can see that hook my jumper back up let's see if i can not short that out i need another hand i'm going to hook the jumper up to positive and we're going to touch here just like i'm cutting the key on that's all it is it's just a switch folks so I hope this helps you guys out, and uh, let's get this uh, solenoid. We're going to pop this on right quick, and let's see if we can make this machine come to life again. One more quick note. If your machine has a three post and the store you're at only has a four post, go ahead and get it. It's okay. As long as you have a means to make 
one little jumper wire. All you have to do is take, if you're using, a, your machine's got a three post, go ahead and get the four post, and all you have to do is either this terminal over to ground at your mounting bolt, or this one over to ground. No matter where it mounts, just run a jumper wire from either one of these small terminals to your bolt. That's all you have to do. That's the only difference. This one is grounded grounded through the mounting bracket. So just run your little jumper. There you go. Well, there's the new solenoid. Let's see. It's all back together now, so let's see if it actually starts. So just so you know, the heat is on. It is cold outside. I'm not going to fire it up. We're going to see that the engine actually turns over. It almost started, didn't it? Folks, we got that one straightened out. Y'all stand by. Well, this machine come in with a whole host of issues, so we've got it to where she'll turn over now. I'll do some more work on it tomorrow. Uh, they brought it in with the deck off. I did not take it off, so I don't even know if we've got all the pieces, but we hope this video helps you guys out. Y'all click that subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Check out some of our other videos. We fix one or two things here or there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have a great, great day.